Hi friends, in this video we will see how to create dynamic grid, data grid view in using C sharp code. Um, now you can see here, if I write, uh, type your ID here, the, this data grid view displayed dynamically. So how this data grid view displayed? So that's we are, we are learning in this video. If I click enter, the gazer focus on view button. If I click the view button, the record only fetched. So ID number one, the record only displayed in the data grid view. Okay, let's see the coding. For data dynamic data grid view, in the load event, form load event, I write this is form load even here I called search function right click go to definition so this is the dynamic data grid view coding here I declared private uh, data grid view name dg view I declared six columns data grid view columns column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 5 6 etc how many columns you need uh, you can use it next uh, function void search here dg view data grid view equal to new data grid view i used the six columns here in data grid view how many uh, uh, events and uh, header text uh, styles what are things we used that uh, that are written here as code see here column header height size mode system dot windows dot forms data grid view column header height size mode auto size second line data grid view columns add range third um, six columns declared here when we load the form the data grid view visible false columns also visible false then we uh, allow user to add rows be declared as false row header visible false selection mode selection mode uh, full row select these all we can use in properties but uh, here we used as code controls dot add data grid view data grid view type is read only true data grid view bring to friend okay this is the data grid view dynamically declared coding second one is that position where we have to display the dynamic data grid view in our form that is the location and the size we declared here and uh, how many columns are uh, length auto size mode with uh, these all things here declared here this is the code for the dynamic data grid view item with header text columns visible like that ok now next uh, this is the search uh, function we de uh, defined here the height uh, width of the dynamic grid view height of the from top uh, to uh, where we have to locate the dyna dynamic data grid view the, this is the height with the like that um, see here when we type the id here we we see uh, id and the name only two values so that's declared uh, here so what are the how many columns you need that space uh, with under size uh, id 100 means uh, it uh, id filled occupies 100 name zero means it's a data grid view filled by the name this field name second line we used uh, to fetch the record SQL data adapter SDA equal to new SQL data adapter select top 10 ID name so we have only three records in the database that's why it's displayed three records so uh, when we have multi records so top 10 ID names from data where ID equal to Sorry, id like text box one dot text so like condition we are used here 
in the text box one. Next we declare the data table and the filled it in uh, SQL data adapter. Data grid view rows clear. This uh, why we used uh, repeated data won't uh, displayed in the data grid view for that. So for each uh, loop used here here n number of uh, records will be displayed for that uh, this first line next uh, id and the name the two columns will be displayed in the data grid view so i used only three uh, two columns that's why i uh, remain four columns i set visible false then second text box key down view designer here go to even text changed now explain now we have to learn text box key down enter here text box one dot text equal to data grid view dot selected rows dot cells zero dot value dot to string then data grid view visible false dynamic data grid view visible false next uh, this is uh, mouse double click sorry next if i click the text box one key down the data grid view rows count greater than zero means text box one dot text the id will be uh, displayed in the id value will be passed to text box then data grid view visible false um, and then gazer will be focus on button one that's why this code used here also if many record top 10 records will be displayed in the data grid view we can use keys up and keys down that's why we used keys up means a row index uh, minus one if keys down means row index plus one so this is the code for creating the dynamic data grid view now again run the form if I click the second uh, ID 2 so ID is 2 name is 2 sick if I click the enter button that uh, focus on view button if I click the view button the only uh, one record will be displayed that ID is 2 ok so now I want to display it in this records into if I click the uh, enter button in the ID so I have to display the records in the text boxes only for that but we can use like this also check it to enter view button if I click double click the mouse button though all the data will be passed to text box Okay guys, if you have any doubt, comment me. Thank you for watching my video.